Welcome to lecture 2.3. In this lecture, we shall continue on the discussion of the system properties. In particular, we will discuss about the time invariance property of system. Let us review the previous lecture where we discussed the idea of linearity which comprises of the two properties of additivity as well as homogeneity. Additivity implies that if individual inputs x1 and x2 gives rise to outputs y1 and y2 respectively, then their combination x1 plus x2 shall result in the combination y1 plus y2. The property of homogeneity or scaling says that if the input is scaled by a factor of k, the output is also scaled by the same factor k for a homogeneous system. Together, we call the property of additivity and homogeneity as linearity property or systems that obey this property are called as systems with superposition. In this lecture, we shall discuss upon the second important property of time invariance. So what is time invariance? Let us take an input x of t which gives rise to a uh, output of y of t if i shift the input x of t by an amount t0 in time i inquire what is the corresponding shift or what is the change to the corresponding output y of t if the system obeys time invariance property, then the resulting output is the shifted version of the previous output. So, for a system to be satisfying time invariance, the input x of t minus t0 should result in an output y of t minus t0 for all the shifts t0 for all the shifts t0 the output should be shifted by the same shift that of the input that property is called as time invariant or sometimes it is better known as the shift invariant let us pick up the two examples that we saw earlier. So, example number one, we saw the system to be y of t is equal to the square of the input x of t. Now, let us shift the system input x of t by an amount t0. The resulting output is the square of the shifted input which is denoted here. Now, we can write the new input as y prime of t. Now, let us shift the output also by the same amount, which is nothing but y of t minus t0. As it is clear from our system definition, the output is nothing but x of t minus t0 squared which implies that y prime of t is the same as the shifted output by t0. Hence, the system here is time invariant or shift invariant. Let us pick the second example now. So, this example, the output y of t is the scaled version of the input which is t times x of t. Let us apply the shift of the input x of t minus t0. From the definition of the system, 
we know that if we shift the input the scaling factor remains to be that particular time t so our modified output on shifting the input alone is known as y prime t which is equal to the following now let us see what is y of t minus t0 which is equal to t minus t0 times x of t minus t0 clearly the relation between this y prime and y of t minus t naught is not unique hence the system here is not time invariant so that brings us to the end of this lecture now we shall discuss the essential of characterizing a system through these two properties which is time invariance and linearity thank you